I'm William Richardson reporting from inside the Freedus Ice Forum where the UConn women's ice hockey team faced off against the Northeastern Huskies. This game was a great, great game. It was very entertaining. UConn, though, was unable to come out with the win, losing by a final score of 4-3. to three. There was no love lost between these rivals on Valentine's Day, and UConn jumped out to an early 2-0 lead in the first period, getting their two goals by Kayla Campero and by Kelly Harris. UConn looked like they were ready to take the momentum of the game and keep it going, but Northeastern got their first goal in the first period on a goal by Christina Saluski. Their second goal of the game came in the second period. Kendall Coyne, she was a hero for the USA women's ice hockey team in the Olympics in Sochi in 2014. She was just dominant in this game and her excellence showed in the second period when she got her first goal of the game. UConn, though, was able to take the lead back in the third period of the game, getting a goal by Sarah McDonnell. She was just, she's the captain for the team, and she was just able to show why she's in the leadership position. She just blew right by her defenders for a nice goal as well. But then Northeastern got two unanswered goals in the, late in the third period. First goal by Kendall Coyne again, her second of the game. And the final goal was by Denisa Krisulva. Again, UConn was just unable to come out with the win. Post game, we were able to talk to Coach Chris McKenzie as well as player Sarah McDonald. So let's go ahead and check that out. Disappointing is it to have a two early in the first period and to lose a game in the final minute of the game like you guys did? Yeah, I, th I think we're very disappointed. Uh, you know, it was a great game. I thought, you know, it might be going to overtime, that kind of thing. Wasn't to be. Uh, we took a penalty, two minutes left in the game, and they capitalized. They have the best power play in our league, and you can't put them on the on the power play too much. We'll, we'll, we'll end up. I'll end up getting scored on is what happened. Uh, you know, I'm really proud of the team. We won the face-off game. Uh, we won, uh, we outshot a team. We outshot them in 11-6 to six in the third. So, I mean, I, there's a lot of great efforts here and a lot of positives, just we didn't get the outcome we wanted. Now, what exactly happened with the penalty kill unit in the last two minutes of the game? Because it seemed like they were kind of scrambling around trying to find the puck. So what exactly happened in the last two Well, it was a loose puck, and they, I think they have a design play where they come around. They come around the net, and they throw it back door, and then we weren't able to... We weren't able to guard that, so it ended up in the back of the net. Other than the final outcome, how do you think the team played as a whole? Uh, very well. You know, we, we, we made some mistakes. Uh, they have a world-class player that keeps them in the games, and uh, that's what happened here. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we I'd like to compete level the way we battled, and we were able to, you know, keep it. It was a very close game. It could have went either way. So, uh, you know, it's disappointing. You know, I'm just, I think we're, we're all focused on tomorrow. Now, you talked about tomorrow. How important is it for you guys to play well, especially because tomorrow's senior day. You have six members of the senior class. How important is that game tomorrow? Well, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a special event. It, it's, a, you know, it's sad in a way you know, that we're losing six seniors. It's our last home game. So, uh, you know, there'll be some emotion there. But, uh, you know, it's a, this is a great group. Uh, the seniors are great leaders for our team. They've done well in the classroom, in the community, uh, you know, helping uh, – breed a, a great culture in our in our locker room. I mean, I, I, it'll be sad to see them go, but at the same time, let's celebrate, uh, you know, some people that are graduating, moving on with their lives. Sarah, you guys jumped out to an early 2-0 lead and the game got away from you guys in the last minute. What happened from the first period to the third? Um, I think at the end of the day, you got to play a full 60 minutes. We maybe didn't didn't do that tonight, but I think there's a lot of positives we can take moving into tomorrow. So hopefully we can uh, use the negatives and turn them into positives for tomorrow. Definitely. Now your goal was the or your goal broke the tie in the third period. What was going through your mind after you scored? Did you feel any extra confident about yourself? Um, I mean, it's a, it's good to get the, the go-ahead goal, but you don't change how you're playing at all. I think, you know, you got to keep on um, getting pucks in deep and things like that. So you don't change how you play at all. Um, it was nice, but it uh, would have been nice if we could hold, held on. Absolutely. Now, what's the one thing you and your team need to work on for the game tomorrow? I'm um, just finishing it out. Obviously, saw so out there, you know, we uh, we played a great 50 or so minutes, but if we can uh, play a full 60, I think we'll, we'll have some success going into tomorrow. Absolutely. Last question. Now, tomorrow's senior day. What does it mean for you going out at, at home in front of the fans? Uh, it's definitely emotional. It's, uh, it's very bittersweet, um, but uh, it's been an amazing four years, and uh, to cap it off tomorrow, it's going to be a great feeling. UConn's next game will be tomorrow afternoon, right back here at Free Decides Forum against Northeastern, which will be UConn Senior Day. They're graduating six seniors, so they're going to have the pregame celebrations and everything for those seniors, so you don't want to miss that. I'm William Richardson, and this is UC Sports.